Uh, I hope. So, um, let's start with the introduction, with a little introduction. So, my name is Mecha, I run the May Cry 3. Uh, this is gonna be, I think, New Game Plus Virgil Heaven or Hell run. The reason why uh, I run Heaven or Hell is because, uh, well, I decided to play a little bit more around, um, like, movements instead of combat. But the combat is good uh, as well. So, Heaven or Hell difficulty is the difficulty where enemies are dying in one hit, so does the player. So, I have to play very aggressively, very patiently, and keep my crazy style with me. So, uh, we're gonna start the run when everybody's ready, I think. So, 3. Two, one, and let's go. We skip the uh, first two cutscenes, it takes around six seconds, and here we start. We instantly pop up our, our Del Trigger, because Del Trigger on release deals uh, a little bit of damage. And because all enemies are dying in one hit, we don't need to charge Del Trigger for um, bigger damage. Uh, so, in the first mission, it's pretty crucial to collect uh, red orbs that are dropping uh, from the enemies because uh, if you don't, uh, the game won't uh, let uh, you just uh, finish the level. So, it's the main. Uh, like, it's the main uh, reason we are losing. Uh, well, time in this level. And this is mission 2. Hey, so say hello to our invisible Allahu Akbar guy. Nobody saw him. I hope, yeah, nobody's on. And this is our first boss. Goodbye, first boss. To be honest, it's not in the boss. Papoja, yes, I So, pretty much, the rest of the run is gonna be quick paced. Because right now we are gonna run into our first. Uh, well. Uh, well. Something that we have to activate to proceed uh, further. And right now uh, we are cutting. Uh, oops. I think I'll start explaining the strats, the text that I'm using. So the Virgil has some, uh, well, unique uh, movements called tricks. So I'm gonna show them in the next mission, and I'll explain the rest of the stuff mid run. Oh, by the way, this is the boss. It's a Cerberus. Goodbye, Cerberus. This is also the hardest boss in the game, so, well, no wonder. So this is the trick up, and uh, basically it gives us uh, more vertical, like, attitude. And because of that, and because of that, um, well, we can skip a lot of walking in some places. Because Virgil doesn't have a double jump, yeah, like, instead of his brother Dante does. So, um... Nobody saw that. No, uh, nobody saw that. I it was planned. It was planned. I it's not sarcasm. Uh, it it it's a recording. It's it's planned. Beca because, um, in spirit runs, uh, you, you can die. It it's simple. I if anything is happening, like any deaths, then that means that uh, it's uh, it's planned. So my death here was planned because it allows me to skip a cutscene that starts uh, after I kill this uh, two enigmas. So yeah, this is uh, this was a cutscene and I skipped it. And because nobody saw the cutscene, uh, like y you won't be able to tell if there is a cutscene or not. Um, I won't try a specific. Uh, like cycle for this uh, for the circle, but uh, I failed. This is another trick up trick. So some of the cutscenes you can skip in this game because they are hardly scripted, and some softly scripted cutscenes you ch you can skip very easily. And um, we are coming to the room where I can show my matching skills a little bit. So there was a cutscene, and nobody saw that at all. 
because I'm very fast. Oh, the real enemy in this run is camera. Because, oh, because the camera does, uh, well, like, the camera affects um, where exactly your character is moving, and because of that, uh, like, your character just can fall down, like, a bit. Um, right now you saw quite a lot of, um, let's say, sword dashes, with the, the sword, and, um, this is uh, actually intended. This is called the uh, Stinger Slide. So basically, um, this move gives you a lot of speed, and this speed is uh, faster. By the way, this is the boss. Whoops. So, and Stinger Slide allows us to, like, to activate some items. I mean, some quest items, some cutscenes, and triggers without losing our actual speed. And um, there is uh, a little bit more tricks that I'm gonna show, but uh, right now let me have some silence, just for a bit. <gasps> I'm... Mm, I failed. But I'm gonna show it. I won't go to the next room before I show you the skip. Okay, screw this. So basically, the skip that I wanted to show is, um, let's say, is a um, rule in our little community of the runners that uh, run New Game Plus have not high difficulty. Uh, you have to perform uh, a swag skip in this level, and if you don't, uh, you have to get a PB in the next day. So I think I have to get a PB on Devil May Cry 3 tomorrow. So, feels bad, man. So, um, we are slowly proceeding, uh, like, towards our schedule, and, um, I have, um, like, let's say, an announcement. If, um, like, if, um, oh, sh what's happening? If the, um, like, if, uh, the incentive won't get met till the end of this run, you'll get the, like, You'll get the incentive for free. <laughs> so, and I'll explain why is that uh, a bit later. So, there, there is a lot of, um, like, let's say, things that I still have to show and uh, perform during the, this run. So right now, I'm gonna use my Spiral Sword move that, that uses my Del Trigger energy. And because I'm running uh, with Super Costume on, I like, I don't lose any of the energy. So basically this elevator is... Uh, like, you don't do anything on it? Ah. Hmm? It's, um, like you know, it's quite disturbing when your, like, when your sister and his husband and her husband are disturbing you from doing the runs. So, this little pause was, well, unnecessary. So, this is trials room. You have to com complete only two trials to get the room, um, like, to complete the mission, and you have to get three to get a weapon called uh, Artemis. We don't uh, use Artemis in Virgil rounds because Virgil thinks that Artemis sucks. Virgil prefers uh, summoned swords instead. Yes. So, uh, this is the singer slide, in case if someone missed. Basically you use this uh, long dash over uh, like, over, over something big, that's not uh, Virgil's sword, so basically, yeah. Right now, I'm about to show you the greatest skip in this game. It was found by the Elmer Cry 3 community, and shoutouts to them. Uh, and uh, this is the skip. 
It was quite slow because the game isn't correctly preloaded, but if you do this preload uh, co in a correct way, um, you won't have any pauses between these uh, dialogues. So basically, I'm running this game on a keyboard, and I got my controller, USB 1, plugged in my laptop. So basically, if uh, like if I need to use my controller, I'm uh, using it. And because this um, game is uh, actually a PS2 port to PC, and some people are telling that this port is quite awful, and I'm like I'm strongly disagree with that. Um, the game behaves quite differently if you plug in this controller. So basically, it allows us to skip all the dialogues uh, and uh, some of the cutscenes very instantly. And it depends on how fast do you mash uh, escape button on your keyboard and uh, your sword, sword uh, attack. So if you mash these two buttons very fast, you can get uh, one frame skips, and this is uh, very importantly if you are going for the good time. Like, it's not quite important, but um, it still wins a little bit of time. Here is another demonstration of this. Oh, uh, camera. And this is elevator. I'm gonna show you a soft lock with the, the elevator later in this game, and I'm gonna reset the level. And right now, I'm gonna just use a little bit of, of, of optimization here, and I failed that. Um, because, well, the port isn't, uh, as I said, isn't quite good, the game allows us to do some fuzzy things. An example, only in a PC version of this game, you can move inside the cutscenes. And uh, you can do it by using your attack movements. So basically, you just. Oops. Nice. So basically, you just. Um, using your attack movements and your jump uh, button to move to in inside the cutscenes. And there is two places there where you can actually soft lock the game. This is mission 14 and mission 16. No, mission 15. Mission 15, yeah. And I think I'll show one of the soft locks. I think mission 15 won because it's uh, much uh, safer f in a marathon. So yeah, this is uh, moving inside the cutscenes, as I said. Um, there is some runes, like the one that. Uh, with that uh, bouncing ball. It's a uh, cursed skull room. There is uh, two rooms, like this one. And pretty much uh, in these rooms you just have to push... Oh, whoa, whoa, I missed. You just have to destroy the skull as fast as possible, and if you don't, uh, it just resets to the original place, and you have to pu push this um, like wheel again, pretty much. So this is uh, version 1. Actually, it's Virgil, because we are playing Virgil. How can I... Like, how can I fight uh, with uh, Virgil if I'm playing Virgil? That makes no sense. And that's the... Guys, where um, we should talk about parallel universes. So, in the parallel universes where I'm running this game right now, the universe is full of meat. And... Uh, if, uh, like, I won't get enough meat... Um... Like, my race will extinct, and my race, my my race loves uh, the the meat, a lot of meat, in fact. So the reason uh, is, uh, well, the reason is uh, you just have to press your buttons very carefully in this run, as I said uh, quite a lot of this time. And because of that, you, you only have around half of a second to press the escape button, to skip the cutscenes. If you won't do that, well, you should just, well, <laughs> you should consider playing another character. Let's talk about Dante. Dante is uh, cool, Dante is a very nice character to play, it's very fun. Um, actually, Dante runs are a lot, uh, let's say, tech-based and uh, if I won't be running Heaven or Hell difficulty, I think I would uh, run uh, 
new game normal, Dante run, because Dante is love, Dante is life. So basically, for those who are wondering where are we now, let me explain. Right now we are in the stomach of some giant flying monster that loves uh, flying around some like spooky tower that nobody ever like dared to step on except the Virgil of course. Because he's the like main villain of this game. Actually he's not. That's a spoiler, so I'm sorry. So pretty much every like Every death that I take is intended, because the game got some death war warps that you will see a bit later in this run. And uh, Bible Thump, we just killed this monster with Holy Water. Uh, basically, Holy Water is a item that kills everyone in the room. Actually, it uh, deals a lot of like damage, but it doesn't kill like most of the cases in Dante Must Die difficulty. That's uh, well, Dante Must Die is uh, the hardest difficulty of this game, so it just deals heavy damage. And because, as I said, every like chip of damage kills your enemies in this difficulty, so it just kills all the enemies in the room. We're gonna use this for some like for some skips because some fights in this game are a bit like say harder. And now it com here it comes the worst. Uh, like the, the the run killer room, the mission nine bridge. Whee! Okay, I survived. We good. This is a world record pace run. It's actually not, but let's pretend it is a world record run. So um, right now we are moving to unlock the door that we are gonna see a little bit. Oh, uh, that's unintended. That we're gonna see a little bit later. And uh, I'm about to show you a death warp that's coming in 30 seconds or so after I clear this room. And I'm gonna explain uh, how does it works, in fact. One, two, three. So this is a death warp. So, for some reason, if you die in this passage, the game thinks that, uh, like, you didn't even took the item at all. So, it places you at the start of the passage, so you can, uh, like, just go away have it while having an item for free. Another controller skip. Hello, this is Nevan. Um, goodbye, Nevan. And uh, we're about to start mission 10. So mission 10 is the shortest, um, like the leg legit, like level. Oops, I forgot to switch to the fourth stage. Oh yeah, um, I forgot to talk about the Virgil weapons. So Virgil got three weapons in his uh, arsenal. He got Yamato, he got Beowulf, and he got Force Edge. Uh, we won't run with Force Edge because Force Edge gives us um, just uh, like a chip of faster movement speed bonus it, while we are in the Dell Trigger. Uh, that was proved by some Chinese uh, gay guide uh, or data mine. So, like most of the times, we are just want to run with Force Edge. So yeah, and uh, say hello to the Dalahans. Um, I personally hate Dalahans because they are invincible to anything except holy water. So every time Dalahan will appear, appear, we are gonna kill him with holy water. Rip, ho rip uh, Dalahan. I I think in um, new game difficulty, it's uh, very hard to deal with Dalahans because, as I said, uh, there is. Um, like, they are invincible, in fact, and to hit them, like, you just have to move, like, to the crystal that's located in, in their backs. And because the camera in this game is uh, 
the main enemy of this game. It's imp it's really hard to just like just believe me. It's really hard to get in a uh, in the back of the Dalhan. So if you don't have a holy water in your uh, backpack, it's really like hard to clear Dalhan rooms. This is another cutscene skip. That's uh, possible to do either way. And mission eleven. So let's hope I'll get the. Okay, yeah, that's very nice. That's not nice. Yeah, okay. And uh, well, say hello to the enemies that are invincible, but not to the holy water. Um, um, yeah. Okay, here comes uh, an, optimi op an optimization that was found by Simateus. You, you have to use your trick up to get higher, and this is. And this is also was found by Simateus, but uh, like in his version of this little skip is sliding around this column. And right now I'm using the tech called like weapon cancelling. So basically, first hit of any weapon is faster than the rest. So if you like start one to three combo, it's gonna be a lot slower than the one two. So you just have to press the button once and. Uh, Press the switch button while like switching while making a hit. This way, the like the animation will overlap each other and you'll like deal a lot more like hits towards this uh, column. And say hello to the temperance wagon. Um, I don't personally like temperance wa wagon because it's completely RNG. And I think it's a time to use holy water. Yeah. Because in the Temperance Wagon you have to take a um, safe um, spot. And you have to adjust your position towards this safe spot where enemies won't hit you. Because otherwise this will happen. And uh, I didn't die there uh, like intentionally because I thought that Enigma won't hit me. So basically, I am uh, I am running slowly out of holy waters, and I'm not planning to buy more of them because I like to play risky. And uh, like, like seriously, the Devil May Cry series are meant to be risky, to be honest. So like, yeah, like this. So like either you are going for the risky place or you don't. It's it's easy. Here is a Beowulf boss. Uh, goodbye Beowulf. And uh, welcome to the mission twelve. Um, in normal playthrough, mission twelve is a mission where you got infinite access to your Del trigger, but your health points are slowly like degrading so in mission 12 it's really important to kill all enemies as fast as possible and to collect their souls um, I mean the green orbs that re that regenerate a lot of HP and as I said uh, it's very important to take safe spots uh, in uh, the wagons so I'm taking a safe spot in on the top side because this way these exploding guys won't hit me at all. Like, it's pretty impossible to get hit if you do so. So, yeah. We're using Trick Up to get here. Skipping a little bit of cutscenes right here. And uh, killing uh, the enemies in this zone as fast as possible. And uh, we are done. Uh, another de death warp is coming. I'm gonna throw some swords just for the safety purposes. I think my PC is dying a little bit. So, can I die? 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 Yeah, thanks. 
So this is the death warp, because, well, actually this is the worst, uh, like, thinking emoji um, death warp in this game, because the game puts you forward, uh, like, in progress-wise. Whoop. Like, whoa, whoa, what, what am I doing? Can I die? <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, right now we are coming towards the another boss. It's called Jerrion. Uh, this is basically a um, giant blue uh, horse that suffers from uh, time travel. So, um, we just save her. Or him? Who knows? Nobody knows the answer. And uh, say hello to the chest figures. One, two. Another holy water optimization. And we are slowly coming to the another boss of this game. It's Virgil again. Oh wait, um, we are playing Virgil. Don't forget that. So. We are about to fight Dirgil one, because he's red, and because Dante wears, wears red as well, it's Dirgil, because it's like Dante Urgil. Dante Urgil. Yeah, like this. So we have to visit this room to get Ori Halcon. Uh, this quest item will allow us to skip, uh, I mean, to unlock the uh, boss, uh, boss room. Oh! What the f Goodbye. And... This is mission 14, and from now on, the whole tower that we have been running so far is, uh, like, it's a little bit destroyed. Um, by, th by the way, this is, the f this is the, uh, one of the two elevators that can leave the you to softlock, and uh, I decided to not show you one, because I think Mission 15 is a better one. And we are coming to another Dollar Hand rooms. Have you missed these guys? I didn't. Holy water. We can taunt the door because door won't do anything. By the way, uh, even doors in this game can kill you. I missed the timings. So the second temperance wagon, no, the third temperance wagon that we are about to take is a um, very fast one. It goes like this. Holy water, shoot swords, one, two, three, another holy water. It's easy. Bam. And we are in some sort of labyrinth right now, but because I know the exact way where I have to go, it's not a like big problem for me. Um, I'm using another holy water in uh, the end, uh, like of the spawn of these chest figures, because if you do it um, like at the very last frames where they do spawn, and also in like in the last let's say wave of the enemies. It's um, a lot faster because the game doesn't despawn the enemies instantly. There is um, like there is a lot like just well one second, one second or so where the enemies are still spawned and you can um, and you can use your taunt move to get the trigger like from them. Uh, this is actually used quite often in uh, normal runs of the May Cry 3 and they'll make right for because well the games are like no can I thanks because these games are well they are quite similar mechanic wise but there is a lot of things that uh, these games are well quite make quite difference say hello to the fallens oh wait no this is not the one I'm not gonna use holy water because I've used one. 
So I'm just gonna do a bit slowest, slowest strat, but I'll conserve one holy water for the next level. Because uh, every menu that I'm doing is um, well, is a time loose. I have to, I have to use my holy orders in a like you know, in a very like in a very conservative manner. Because there is some enemies that you can use holy water on. Well, where this, uh, let's say effective and there is a lot of enemies that makes no sense uh, right now we're hitting a will that switches a tower for us um, there is a um, cycle that we found that skips uh, one fight at the end of this level and uh, I and uh, we're, you are about to witness another death warp of this level this is not the death warp but okay Boom. Boom, does warp. So the cycle is uh, two, two, two like wheels on the first one, one wheel on the first one, and the two spins on the rest of of the of them. So yeah. So this is the next wheel that we have to turn. Nice. Whee! And you're about to witness another death warp on this level. Think. Oh, what? What? Can I get hit? Thanks. So this warps us to the middle of this level. As I said, the game doesn't understand where where we are, so it just pulls us a little bit forward. So for the last wheel of this level, I'm gonna use a um, trick called uh, Starfall. Starfall uh, makes me invulnerable from the, all the high attacks because uh, it deals some damage. And right now I'm gonna be silent just for a bit because this section of the run is one of the hardest ones. Thanks. So, because there is a lot of um, ways you can die, like dull hounds, the the blades, etc. There is like like a lot of chance that you'll die. And as I said, uh, you're about to witness one of the two like soft locks. So. Oh no, I missed, I missed, I missed. So basically you can move out of this trigger that ends the mission and uh, softlock the game while you don't hit this trigger. So you just can walk inside these rooms uh, like for free. I'm gonna use um, a reversed uh, strat right here. So I'm gonna turn on the right, uh, like spin first. And then I'm gonna use delayed killer bee attack that drops the Virgil um, on the opponent with dealing one of the highest damage outputs in the entire game. Um, so, yeah. Whee! Oh, whoa, 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 Wrong button. So, yeah. I want to kill this Enigma guy because he's charging his weapon uh, faster that, than like than I have an opportunity to kill. So, nah. Can I? Oh yeah, I kill this. Can I get stuck? Can I get stuck? No, I can't. So I'm about to use another weapon. So weapon, uh, weapon switching, weapon cancelling, call it whatever you like. And this is the perfect demonstration of a um, pretty much, uh, like I mean, say like pretty close to a perfect. Um, nah, I won't use a holy water on this guy. So like, if you want to practice with uh, this, you can just. Um, 
like play this game. Oh, um, I missed. Yeah, like this. I'm gonna take safety holy water right here, so the enigmas won't have a chance to kill me. Because the well, um, like, because these enigmas ruined um, pretty much a half of my VRP, like world record paced runs. So I think it's uh, a lot much safer to um, not die in marathon because it sucks. I think. Um, we are slowly coming to a boss rush room where you usually fight all the bosses in this game and we are gonna fight three bosses. We are gonna fight Agni and Rudra, we are gonna fight Cerberus and we are gonna fight Beowulf. And we are gonna kill all of them in one hit. LUL. And this is a uh, mission 17 called Inner Demons and to be honest this mission is a very hard one to master, but I hope I'll get the cycle in the first try, hopefully. Yep, I did. First try! Nice! Um, there is another, um, like... Another strat that's done while playing casually, and this strat uh, saves um, five seconds or so. And this is the worst room in every single run, including the normal one, because these spikes are super RNG. So like, you can either win a lot of time here, or you can die and lose a lot of time. So let's hope the last one. No, this is the bad one. This is another bad one. Singer. Ruined. So like this is the reason uh, this room is very RNG. Oh, okay, I hit the trigger. So... Because this last wave of spikes are going randomly, there is like no way um, you can predict ev like everything that's gonna... Like everything that's gonna happen. So, I, so like... I'm using Stinger so I can hit the trigger a bit faster and this is like pretty much the safety reasons. I'm gonna use holy water on you guys, sorry. And I got 5 holy water re re like remaining. And I'm gonna use uh, 5 holy waters against um, chess boss battle, against doppelganger battle that's gonna happen in 10 seconds or so. Uh, against Cerberus and against Arkham. So this one. Stinger, I missed. Nice. By the way, um, shoutouts to the Capcom for their hell representation. Because I think this their hell look okay, like this hell is the best hell that I've ever been. And like, to be honest, the soundtrack to the hell is very beautiful. So like, you can, uh, I think, type on YouTube... Uh, Delamecar 3, Demon... War, Coir, Shuar... Well, you got the idea, like... Official soundtrack of Delamecar 3 and find this uh, soundtrack. It's really good. I promise. Oh, I'm still about to... I still got time to show... Uh... Some glitches and skips. So, because uh, I think there is no donations for the glitch showcase so far, and uh, I think it's gonna be... Let's say fair to show some glitches and uh, stuff for free because, well, why not? We 
Because, well, if you think that something is good and you, like, can d donate or show it, you have to do it. Because this way people will tell you, oh, yeah, this guy is very good. And you'll share, because I care about you guys. I care about your, um, let's say, viewer um, interest. If uh, I won't explain anything, it's gonna be... Like, you know, it's not gonna be any fun or enjoyable. So, I care about you guys, and I'm gonna show my donation incentive for free. Just for, like... Oh yeah, I can kill this guy. Because, you know... Well, if people, like, talk loud, the people around might think that they're good. So... I decided to, like, to scream like a little grill! Actually, I'm not a grill. Oh, um, I forgot that I have to, that I have to mash. Actually, like, I would like to scream for more, but I just can't. So... B get ready for the timer. Because the timer is gonna happen in uh, 10 seconds. 1, 2, 3... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine time. I lied just a bit. So this is this was um, Devil May Cry 3, Heaven or Hell difficulty, New Game Plus. And right now, because I promised to show some stuff for free, as as I said, um, I'm gonna um, so I'm gonna show some stuff that we found. I'm gonna take Dante. Because, uh. Because Dante is very good. And because of that, I'm gonna so show you something that's, uh. Like, let's say, it, it, it's really. It's really crazy. And if I'll make it uh, in the first try, I'm gonna. I'm gonna be pretty much impressed by myself. So, I'm doing this also because I have some time, because I submitted uh, 45 minutes estimate, and uh, I think I, s I, uh, like I finished my run in early 40s or 41s. Echo, echo. So, let's proceed through this gate. These rooms as, uh, like, normally. By the way, uh, Compared to Virgil, Dante got... Uh, oh, you, you, you didn't notice it. Wait a second. Dante got a double jump. And also, Dante can fly in the air! With a proper weapons. Okay, so... We are slowly coming to... Yeah, this save is fine. Well, um, not fine. Okay, so prepare your POC champs, prepare your mecha G mm, GGs, because if, like, because I'm gonna to do something really crazy. And I hope I'll get it first try, because I don't really want to make the second try, or even worse. I found this while I was trying to optimize my world record runs, so... This is the time to prove my skills to the test. Well, I think you got the idea. So basically, by doing this, you can um, cancel your movements uh, like infinitely. So the moment you have holy water, all your movements are being cancelled. So you can perform infinite jumps, infinite wall runs, etc. As you remember, in the section of the Virgil run, I had to like uh, just wait for the elevator to go top, and uh, well. 
so yeah. And right now I'm gonna take uh, normal difficulty, so I can show you something that's used in uh, normal runs of Devil May Cry 3. I'm gonna take a Royal Guard style because it allows me to... Well... It allows me to block the attacks and if I'm gonna do it in a very um, frame perfect moment I can... Like... I can be super offensive with the style. And most of the... Like let's say decent people of this game are talking that this uh, style is the most offensive style in this game. And... There is why you just have to, like, use it if you want to play the game aggressively. Although this style is very frame perfect and very hard to master, but if you are gonna play this game even casually, I don't recommend ta taking it because, well, frame perfect blocks, not like this. So, um, I'm gonna take ten attempts if I won't get the. Um, this thing in 10 attempts, I'm gonna show the clip of uh, Simoteus that runs this game and he's very good at this game. Okay, that was close. Well, okay, it was very cl it was super close. Come on, hit me! I said hit me! Like, it's not my fault that uh, the Enigma can't hit me. <sighs> okay, one more try. Okay. Uh, so, this is the Simoteus VOD of the skip. Uh, sorry for taking it. <coughs> so basically this is the one zip. And this is how it's done. So, pretty much that's it. So, um, thanks for having me. Um, I'm gonna play some... CG res high res art. So, thanks for watching me, thanks for having me. Um, shout outs to Machine Supremacy, Simoteus, uh, Ilyushka Bond, and uh, pretty much everyone that's uh, that's related on the Dell McCarthy community and the rest of the guys that support me. Um, if you want to run this game, we got a Discord with a lot of people. I mean the active ones, and well, I hope that we'll get more runners next time. So thanks for having me, um, and uh, there is gonna be a lot of more interesting runs in the next time marathon. I recommend you watching Shin Runs, Prince of Persia, any person run, because well, I hope we just like this game. I'm gonna also run Risk of Rain and Devil May Cry 4. Uh, New Game Plus Devil Hunter at the end of this marathon, so um, if you enjoyed it, I'm gonna be very happy to see you later. So, thanks you guys, and uh, see you later.